How can we tell the difference between our waking lives and our dreams? As a magician, I'm obsessed with this question because many of my favorite magic tricks involve a moment that looks like something out of a dream. Here is a perfect example. Whatever you do, do not take your eyes off the paperclip. Watch the silver paperclip gets impossibly molded. into a silver coin. In just a moment, I'm gonna reveal the secret to that extremely cool trick. And what I really enjoy about the technique, the very cool technique behind that trick, is you can use it not just with a paperclip and a coin, you can use it with a key, you can use it with a bottle cap, you can use it with a finger ring. It's so cool, you're gonna love it. It's not difficult, but it's super magical. Before I go any further, I should tell you how I got inspired. Um, I saw, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, the Moon Knight preview. Very, very cool preview for an upcoming movie. I thought it was very dramatic and very weird. And I loved its question. And I mentioned that at the front of this video, in fact, is how do, can we tell the difference between our dream lives and our real lives? Especially because, and this is the point I wanted to make, is that dreams have an internal logic. They're not just random and crazy. Sometimes they kind of, there's a logic that is not unlike the real world. There's a cause and effect thing. All in this video, we're always gonna do what? I'm gonna announce the winners of last week's contest. Last week's contest uh, was for uh, Indelible, uh, which is a really cool collection of card tricks involving uh, the movement, transformation, um, of vanishes and appearances, of writings and drawings, of markings, on a pack of cards. It's very cool. As with all my stuff, my expert gimmicks and advanced stuff and the downloads and all that stuff, you can find it all at sankeymagic.com. So I'm gonna reveal the secrets. We're gonna give away the winners. We're gonna give you a chance to win a brand new contest coming up. You're gonna have a chance to win Imprisoned, of another very cool gimmick you use with coins, actually. Easy to use, super visual. Um, and I also wanna draw your attention to the fact that on the, on the corner, one of the corners here, uh, sometime during this video, please, you'll see a link for your chance to download a bunch of free magic gimmicks. They're free. You don't have to purchase anything, okay? You'll be able to download these gimmicks. You'll be able to print some of them off on the printer at your home or maybe at the office. They're 100% free, nothing to buy, okay? I'll leave a link somewhere here for you to download a bunch of free gimmicks, okay? And all the instructions are with them and all that stuff, all right? This is called Edge Grip edge grip, and it's a very cool technique. It's a way to hide items in your hand, okay? But there's some really important details you need to know, or it's gonna look really uh, awkward. Uh, first, uh, I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing this, okay? Uh, edge grip can be is really a, a variation on the downs palm, and the downs palm is right here. Now you'd think, how do you hide that in your hand? It's between your thumb and finger. Well, if I turn my hand over like this, and I pretend to be holding something invisible. Now you can see my palm, okay? You can see the palm. You can see the back of my hand. You can see all my fingers. You can see uh, absolutely everything. And as long as I don't tilt my hand up here or tilt it down here, the item stays hidden. Now, edge grip is a variation on this, okay? Because this is hundreds of years old, this downs palm. And notice that my fingers together are one thing, but if you happen to have something you're holding, now look at it. Now, where are people's focus gonna be? On the micro level, okay? Really with detail, they're looking at the paperclip, especially if you don't hold it out for 10 minutes, okay? If you just sort of say, here's a paperclip, everyone looks at the paperclip, they're thinking, okay, what's up with that clip? He's gonna do something with that clip. No one's consciously taking in the information about the empty hand. They're not consciously doing it, but on an unconscious level, they're taking it up very much so. Now notice, I don't just do this, I do this. Okay, sure. Now I don't pivot it like I'm a robot. Ow. I don't do that, okay? Real, I kind of keep it casual and floating, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more details about I hide it and the other secret grip I used, okay? Because I didn't quite use this grip. Here's the question of the week right now. Question of the week for your chance to win Imprisoned, okay? Which is a coin magic gimmick. Uh, if you could have a super detailed dream about anything, huh? Pretty cool question. If you could have a really detailed, like a, a real life experience, it would feel like real life, but it's a dream. If you could have it about anything, what would it be? Leave a comment down below. You'll be automatically entered into the contest for your chance to win uh, one of the very cool imprisoned uh, coin magic gimmicks. Okay, let's get back into this thing here. 
and it back into it. The secret grip. So we've got it here is the original Downs palm. And we talked about ways we can hold something here and conceal it. But what I was using was edge grip, which isn't on the index finger axis. It's actually the middle finger. Now that you could debate one way or the other, which is more deceptive, okay? Whether it's here, let's go with the back to the paper clip. And I wanna share an important detail with you. If you think you're completely understood this trick, you're, you're a little ways off just yet, okay? So I got the paper clip. That's the original. That's where it's up between those two. And then I've got this between uh, the thumb and the middle finger, and I've got this. So this is interesting because it shows a little bit of the top, the finger, the whole thing, okay? It really depends on your comfort. Neither is better. The better one actually is whatever you're more comfortable doing. Now, let's go, let's just, so I want to show you that this, I can have a bottle cap concealed in here, okay? Bottle cap, I mean, it's something as big as a bottle cap, I mean, your hands look absolutely empty. I can have a, a finger ring in here, finger ring, a, a nice silver finger ring, have that hidden in there. Uh, or I can even have a key, okay? And with the key, I gotta say, I'd be tempted to go up top here with the downs, okay? But look at that, I mean, I can show my whole hand empty and it's hidden in right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I said there were a couple little details. They're important details. You wanna make this flow. If you don't make it flow, it's gonna look awkward. And even though people can see your hand is empty, okay, they still might get a sense of, mm, I don't know what's going on. So watch what I did to kind of bury it, to kind of soften the corners of the technique of it, really. Okay. First is when I was talking to you and I talked about this, what's the difference between the real life and how can we tell, is I brought this into view real casually. Like this, this is casual here. And I said, whatever you do, do not take your eyes off this, then brought that in, okay? So you already had a totally organic, diffuse, comfy, nothing, a, a association with the paper clip. Transferred it over here, the hand came up. And again, this could have been by my side, not just on a camera for YouTube, but you can do it at your side. You can have this, you could even borrow somebody's coin, okay? Borrow a nickel, show it real cleanly, change it into a penny. You transform their own coin into something freak fest. I mean, that's some powerful stuff. You're here, okay, casually here. I'm over here like this, showing this, and this is in the up top, this is in the original downs. So I'm here like this, and you gotta make sure, don't just go into it here. Really give them a flash of that. And I said, whatever you do, do not take your eyes off the paper clip. Okay. And I held it up here. Now, here's what I like, a little detail here, is I started up and I'm going to bring it down. Now, why? Why am I going to bring it down? Well, it's just something to do um, before I go into the change that I think really uh, helps people focus in taking in the empty hand, but also really focus on the paper clip. You're doing something with the clip before the change is the idea. Very subtle, but boom, you're like this. Now, I turn the hand over. I turn the hand over, and as I turn the hand over here, no, sorry, sorry, I, I take it here and I turn the hand, that's right. I'm here, I take it between thumb and finger, okay? And I turn the hand, I'm all my focus, and this hand drops slightly down. And as it drops slightly down, I let the coin, in this case, fall into my fingertips there. It just falls, okay? You sort of loosen the grip, it falls into the, uh, down to what we call finger palm position. And now I'm about to do Di Vernon's marvelous spellbound technique. I know, Di Vernon, all the technique, spellbound. It all sounds like something uh, out of a <laughs> Harry Potter wet dream or something like that. But first, we're gonna jump into the winners. Here are the indelible winners. You sons of guns, you won indelible. Uh, again, like all my stuff, you can check it out, the preview for indelible. Uh, it's a whole project thing with a couple of special cards. Um, uh, you can check it out at sankeymagic.com and here are the indelible winners as always if I say your name congratulations but you got to give, give us your real name so email my team at contact contact at sankeymagic.com okay send them your real name your YouTube name and your shipping address so we can send you this really cool gimmick and download and all that exploding Darth Tommy Brozine or Brozen uh, Mer Marilyn Marilyn Shut Turtle Lee, you know who you are, Marilyn Shutterly, Chris Greaves, I bet he does, he probably hangs out with Exploding Darth, um, Mr. Balloon Pimp, okay, so we got Balloon Pimp, we got Kim Cisas, Jonathan Greenaway, Naomi Taylor, Jimmy Lee, Tom Smith, Ludlow ST, and Chris Drummond, Drummond, you guys all won, congratulations, contact my team, so you're here, they watch in turning all focus goes to the hand. This hand drops, you get the coin. And now I'm gonna come over and this is so pretty. You can do this from two inches from someone's face. Is they just saw, they know both hands are absolutely empty. You gave them plenty of time to see that. You then come over here and the silver 
The silver of the one becomes the silver of the other. This hand's absolutely empty. So it's not like you made a paperclip vanish. You made a paperclip vanish, you made a coin appear, and apparently you changed the one into the other right in front of them, okay? So, so, so pretty, okay? One last detail I wanna share with you here before is this, is I come over here. And so when I come over here, I wanna make sure you saw this. Here's the exposed, the secret view, is I'm gonna let the paperclip fall back into my fingers, okay? It's just gonna fall back into my fingers while I leave the quarter right where the paperclip just was. Okay. Here, empty hand, paperclip. Rubby, rubby, rubby. <laughs> Don't Google that. Empty hand and the perfect change. Do not forget to click the link. It's gonna be around here. Click that link and download those free magic gimmicks. They're free, nothing to buy. You click on the link, you can download them, which is cool. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. Please leave a comment. And remember, this week, your, your chance to win imprisoned. Tell me. If you could have a super detailed dream about anything, any experience, if you could have one, what would it be? Leave a comment down below. And hey, please click the like button, okay? And subscribe. I got some really cool videos coming very soon.